Hey Caster, Derek here at Break Six Clan. I have another fun and simple escape room element that you can add into a cache. Let's get started. One of the things that my family likes doing is actually doing like escape rooms. Well, we found a website online, it's called finderseekers.com, and they will send you out an escape room in a box every month, it's subscription based. Now, I have no affiliation with them or anything like that, they're not giving me anything, this is just a really cool thing that we do. And so, but last month when we got it, it was all on China, the Forbidden City and some other stuff, and there was this really cool puzzle that I thought would be really neat to add into a geocache to figure out a combination. And what it is, is that you have this simple puzzle that I'm showing you right now. So you have the simple puzzle and it's got these numbers on it. But then you also have these cards as well. And these cards have like these dotted lines on it that you have to line up onto the, the paper to figure out which number it is. So the line that goes all the way from the start to the finish, that goes through all the squares, the numbers that it goes through reveals the combination. And I thought, you know, that would be a really cool way to figure out a combination to get into the logbook of either an ammo can or a birdhouse. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take this concept and I'm gonna use it, use wood, like it would be like on a door of a birdhouse and show you how I would create this to be able to figure out the combination to get to the logbook. So I already have a door cut out for a birdhouse and that's what's right here. And this is the size that I kind of like using for my birdhouses. And what I need to do next is take this quarter inch plywood and I need to cut out the squares for, to be able to do the puzzle on the birdhouse door. And I really do like the size of the square, which is actually three and a quarter inches. So I'm gonna, so I've already got my saw set up and I'm just going to start running this plywood through and getting into squares at three and a quarter square. And that's what we're going to do next. And then I'll show you the next step that we're going to be doing. All right, so now I have all of the pieces cut out that I'm gonna be placing onto the door. And that's the next step. I'm gonna take these pieces and kind of get them placed on the door itself and then take a pencil and kind of sketch out where they are. Because the next step I need to do is on the door itself, I'm gonna take these rare earth magnets and I'm going to secure them into the door itself. And then on the back of each one of these pieces, I'm gonna be putting a washer. So that way they will actually stick in place and you can try and figure out the puzzle to be able to get into the actual combination inside the birdhouse or inside the ammo can, whichever one you want to do. So now the magnets are in place on the door and I also went ahead and put one of those pieces and glued it and went ahead and screwed it into place because that one's not going to move. That's going to be like the set one. And then I've also gone back in and I've put the washers on the back of the other tiles. Now what I'm going to do now is put the tiles in place and then I'm going to come in and using a pencil and draw out the maze that I want them to be able to do. I'm not going to put any numbers in this yet because I'm not sure what type of combination lock I'm going to use. If it's going to be a three digit or a four digit or what it's going to be yet. So I'm just going to kind of draw out the maze and I can always go back later and put in the numbers. All right, so here it is. Got the maze completed. And after I drew it out, I went back through with my wood burner and redid the lines to make it more permanent. So that's what I did here. Now there's so many different combinations. Now of course these spin and they have to figure out which order they put them in. So that'll be a challenge. And I'll go back through later and once I figure out what the combination to be and put the numbers on the different lines that need to go. Now I really hope that you enjoyed this today. And once again, I wanted to let you know that down in the description is a link to Finder Seekers. Um, no, they didn't pay me to do this or anything like that. I just really thought this is a really cool idea I got from their monthly escape room subscription that we have as a family that we work together. So check them out. Also down in the description, I have a link to the rare earth magnets that I used in this build. 
But once again, I would love to hear from you. What would you do? Would you put this in a birdhouse or would you shrink down the sizes and put it into an ammo can? I'd really like to hear from you this week. So leave me a comment down below and let me know. All right, everyone. I hope you really did enjoy this and I will catch you in one of these other videos just right over here as you find the story behind the cache.